Hey guys, it is Dr. Michelle Erick, Dr. Prodigy. We're doing some third grade 2D shape questions. I've just been hanging out in Skywash battling the Titan, and I figured let's head over to Bonfire Spire. I've already found the gem before, um, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make sure that I change my pet because if I'm in this world, I need to make sure that I have water pets. So I'm gonna put in, let's move in Funk Eel so that we have a water pet. And actually, I'm gonna actually also move over Aquaster. We're just gonna bring both of them over so that we can play. Um, and I know I don't technically need to play right now. Ooh, we do have a new place to go. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Well, I picked the wrong pets for this one. Which of the following is a rhombus? All right. Well, remember, rhombuses have, in order for something to be a rhombus, it has to be a parallelogram. So it has all the features of a parallelogram. But a rhombus is a special parallelogram that also has to have all sides are equal. And the math word is congruent. So if we look here, this is a parallelogram, but the all the sides are not the same. This is a trapezoid, so that won't work at all. So C is the best choice for a rhombus. And honestly, we've done so many rhombus videos, like let's just move on. Like I'm not gonna keep teaching, we're just gonna play this baby through. Cold snap. Powerful, look at that, enemy's turn. All right, let's go on. Ooh, that was powerful against us though. Oh, we're really, really getting attacked. Okay, which is a trapezoid. We've talked about trapezoids a gazillion times. Let's just keep moving forward. All right, looks like Trump's got the best power. And actually, I probably should have put it off of another one because that one was so low, but that's totally fine. Oh, okay, now we're talking about similarity. So similarity is huge. Similarity means that it's the same shape, but only smaller or bigger in a little bit time, sometimes the same. So in high school math, a similar shape would be a different size. This put the sides would be proportional, like it would look exactly the same, but um, the angles would be congruent. But I don't know how Prodigy defines similar in third grade math, so we'll have to see in the next couple of questions. Let's see. Weak. I think the trick is to not have all my water pets in one place. Because I was thinking, oh, we'll be over here and we can just do water pets. That was not the right choice. Okay, so they're using the word similar, but Technically speaking, for the record, these shapes are congruent, okay, because they're the same size. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's as similar, but the true meaning is congruent because they're the same side, okay? Because congruent is, let's see if we can drench this guy out. Um, congruent, why are we having issues? There it goes. Miss, how did that happen? We're not gonna pet rescue, we're not a um, member, that doesn't matter. So congruent, sorry, sides the same. Similar figures don't have to have the sides the same, but the angles have to be the same. So um, here's this one. Again, it's congruent. You should use that word with your teacher and be, he'll be like, congruent? How did you know that? And he'd be like, I learned it watching Dr. Prodigy when we were doing Prodigy Game. All right, good, we needed a critical hit. Fumble, yes. All right, let's do another question. This is a square, this is a square. Now this is a good example of the word similar because notice how large the sides are. I don't think I can use a ruler tool, but notice how large the sides are. Like if I move this over, this is like eight and a half but if we had it over here, it wouldn't nearly be eight and a half on one side. 
So um, that is a good use of the word similar because it is the same shape. They're both squares, but the sizes are different. Resist, why would you do that? Oh my gosh. Here's another one where the shape is just slightly rotated. So it's still a rectangle, just rotated rectangle. All right, you better be done, mister. What? What is Prodigy doing to us? We were supposed to be going quickly. Come on, Starbet. Finally. All right, this is Dr. Eric. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Bye, guys.